Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Harry Views back with another video. A new month has started. So of course, as with every other month, we have new apps to share with you guys. So in this video, I will show you guys 10 apps that you must have on your iPhone in August 2022. The first app for the video is called MD Vinyl. Now this app adds home screen widgets to your device, which then allow you to actually control the music directly from the home screen. It will work with the Apple Music app or Spotify, of course, two of the most famous and most popular music players. Now, right here, you can see this is the app. You will have some tips here for using the widget and also you will have here the count how many songs you have played now this is a free app to install but you can only play 100 songs for free then you will have to upgrade to a paid version now these are the home screen widgets we have two medium ones right here we'll get a smaller and a bigger one as well and here we have all the controls so you can see we can change the songs there we can play and pause and also favor the song right there now this one right here looks pretty cool but it doesn't have the controls but of course you can enable them simply by 3d touching on the widget tap edit widget and enable show controls and you can show the love button as well if you want to and then you will have the controls right here which again work as they should you have the play pause button and also the buttons to move forwards or backwards Picture in Picture is a new app that has recently been released and it allows you to play pretty much anything on the Picture in Picture mode. So it will work with Safari, with the Files app, with the Camera app if you shoot a video you can then play it on the Picture in Picture mode or with the Photos app. Or you can just go ahead and search or paste any link you want and it will just play the video from that link on the Picture in Picture mode. So let's try it out. Here we can go ahead and just load a video from the camera roll. Once you have loaded the video, just tap on Choose and just like that, you can go ahead and play it on the Picture in Picture mode as easy as that. Now if you want to use it on Safari, then you will have to head on to Safari and tap the AA button right there and go to Manage Extensions. Now this on Safari will actually work as an extension so anytime you're on a website where there is a video all you have to do is just tap the share button and of course just choose right here picture in picture and you're good to go it will open it on the picture in picture app and play it on the picture in picture mode next up is a new web browser which is actually really interesting it's totally private it also can be protected with your face id so face id needs to be entered to just open the app that's really cool so right here we'll have different tabs that you can open so you will have right here as you can see tab one two up to five you can go to settings right here and you can choose a browsing mode private this this means that every time you close this app all the tabs will be closed and everything will be burned so no history no nothing will be saved at all everything will just vanish and you will have here the search engine you can choose which search engine you want to choose and then you can also go ahead and lock the application with face id or even lock the bookmarks that you have on the app that's really cool so if you go to one of the tabs right here of course you can just go ahead and enter any website you want to open so let's just try it out you can open a website right here and you also have like a full screen mode which lets you browse totally on full screen so every time you close the app everything will vanish count this is the next app for the video now how many times you had to count something manually well with this app all you have to do is just load a photo that you might have saved on your photos library or tap here to use the camera and take a picture of some objects that you might want to count so let's try it out so right here i have loaded a picture all i have to do now is tap on done to select that picture and you can see right now it will work it will recognize whether the ob objects or people and of course will count them for you so you can see 99 objects actually detected so it says right here persons so you can see right there it will detect anything you need and of course count them and show you the count right here the next app for the video is called Testio. Now this is an app that allows you to test your device. Or this might be very useful if you're trying to buy another device like a used device from someone, you can just install the app on that device and actually just test the device, test anything about that device. You can test the speakers, power button, microphone, GPS vibration, the LCD, the multi-touch, anything can actually 
be just tested with this device so you can see here it takes you through like a few tests and you can see everything can actually be tested so we'll have here like face id touch id everything you can just go ahead and test them and see if they work properly but not just that you will have other things as well like the speed test right here you can test basically the speed of the network you can test right here the battery of the device as well now this will take a few minutes but you can go ahead if you have time just let it run right here and it will test and show you all the exact information you need to know regarding the battery of that device the next app for the video is called Movie Pro. Now this is a camera app that allows to shoot and have everything under your control. Everything can be manual with this app. So first of all, you will have the record button right here. You will have a right here the battery and also the free space of your device. That's really interesting. Anytime you're shooting a video, you will have that there. And of course, it shows you how much free space and how much battery you have to actually shoot the video. Right here, of course, you will have the zoom buttons. You can see how smooth they are. And then you will have here everything on manual, the ISO, the brightness, everything here. So you can see the color temperature. You can switch here between different color temperatures and you can see the effect right there. Of course, you will have a record button right here. You can go ahead and add scripts. So if you're shooting a video and you have a script that you need to read, you can just paste it there. And of course, go ahead and read it from the screen. Now here we have the settings as well. You will have the camera settings, which are of course most important. You can shoot in 4K of course. And then you will have the frame rate, which you can change from here so you can see basic frame rates and high frame rates as well so really really nice app with a lot of options and of course lets you choose manually how you want to shoot a video the next app for the video is called one music now this is a fun app that will bring some retro music players to your device you can see how cool this is this is pretty basic you will have here your music you can tap here to go to the music app you will have here as you can see the play time and you will have the buttons here of course to start and stop playing music and then you have the next and the previous button and right here will have the player button if you tap there you can go ahead and switch between different players so you can see right here we have a bunch of them like a few are actually free a few are paid that you will have to pay for them this one right here is free this is the ipod music player you can see how cool this is so you will have the play button right there the player button right there and you will have of course the basic controls that you get on any player now this is really cool of course these music players look pretty awesome on the iphone and the app is free to download the next app for the video is a fun app. It is called Fluid. Now what it does, it allows to just play around with the screen of your iPhone with this really awesome effects. As you can see right here, you can choose between different one of them. You can see how cool this is. It's actually like a relaxing app. You play around with this. It actually it becomes kind of addictive. You can just play around with these colors and these effects, which are actually really cool. And of course, you can maybe even take a screenshot here and get a really nice wallpaper from your device out of this and again if you just let it like just don't touch it for a few seconds you will get that button right there that allows to go ahead and choose different effects and of course play around with them on your device the next app for the video is called x snapper now this one adds a really nice effect to your screenshots anytime you take a screenshot that you may be want to act, actually just share it on your social media. You don't have to share it just as a simple screenshot. You can just go ahead and use this app and it actually gives your screenshots a really nice look. So you can see, you can edit right here the border radius. You can add shadows. You will have the padding right here and the inset as well. And of course you can change the background to different, of, different colors just like this. Now, one thing about this app is that it has a watermark which can actually be removed or customized add maybe your own name if you actually update this to pro version so you can see right there we have it you can go ahead and edit from here but it will reset because you will have to pay to get that actually to customize the way you want it 
Contact Exporter is the last app for this video. This is actually an app that's pretty useful when it comes to exporting your contacts as it allows to select which contacts and which informations from those contacts you want to actually export. So you can search your contacts or just choose from the list and of course just tap right here to select the contacts you want to export. Once you have done that, you tap on the export button right there and it will show you this window right here from where you can choose what you want to export from those contacts. So you can do name, phone, email, addresses and also birthdays and then you can choose on which types of file you want to export that and once you're done, you tap the export button and you can choose to share it anywhere you want or just save it to your files. So that is it for this video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the apps, if you want to download any of them, make sure you check out the pinned comment, you will find all the links there. Again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on the next one.